Hey guys, this is going to be a quick update. Um, I had a few uh, questions were asked on the uh, personal message me, which I don't I don't mind um, about this engine. Um, this engine has a bad carburetor on it. Um, other than that, it does run. As far last time I knew, it does run. The carburetor sits up here. This is for you to zipple. You get, you see how much plays in this carburetor. I don't know if that's going to affect anything. Because when it's open, it's got all that play, and also you can. Don't uh, move that up and down, and it needs a new rebuilt for it. The reason why I mentioned that is up here I have another eight horse updraft carb, and she's got a little play, but not as not as much as this one down here. And also that arm's all freaking loose, anyways. And this car carbs from 1975. Uh, and then I got a hold of another updraft eight horse that is right here and she's got a little bit of play but anyways that engine does run that's going on a project then I have this engine and I know a lot of guys were wondering I should have done this update a long time ago but didn't this engine came with that engine that was the running bull engine this was not the runnable engine um, the problem I have with this engine, and Zippo, if you can key in on this, this is, I guess, the true 70, uh, 79, 16 horse, I guess this is what this one's supposed to be. Yeah, 70, let's see, 78. Um, with this engine, um, it's got your points condenser style mag points are down here um, no nothing uh, for the uh, exhaust no carburetor um, have no clue if this thing has spark biggest problem is the nuts completely rotted away um, I have the booster fan um, that's on another rider of mine um, if you listen That does not sound good. Uh, another thing is, I do not have another starter generator for this motor because the ears broke off and it sits over here in this uh, corner. Well, it was sitting over here in this corner. Um, or maybe it's up here now. I don't know. Might be up here or down on that corner. But Zippel has a rider before everything went south on me. And literally everything went south very quick. Um, I, had to, I had some spare money I put up to I put up to get my dad another rider. And while well, Zippel had a uh, Montgomery Wards Gilson uh, tractor I was interested in now I don't have the money to pay him but he has a modern um, 16 horse that does not have the starter generator it's got a Benick Benix style starter that I would love to get a hold of that motor well actually just for the parts I need the flywheel and the starter so I can take this off and turn this into a starter style uh, for my leaf catcher that's what's going on with that motor it's basically I don't want to use a starter generator for a leaf vac system. Um, now you guys are wondering about another motor I had. Um, right here is the original 8 horse back in 75. It's basically a part engine. There's nothing wrong. Uh, the block is solid. It just needs a complete rebuild. Uh, been here for 9 years. Uh, Another one is the 
my Briggs Raptor sits down in there, needs a new block. Uh, I believe everything else is still good on it. I believe. Um, I believe everything was still good on this Briggs Raptor. Yeah, everything else was still good on this. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to put new rings in. I think the piston's still good. I think I can probably reuse the piston and crap off the block. But the block's a hundred and hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty dollars for a brand new stage three block. Um, the other one, the other engine that you guys are going to see very soon is this uh, Capole's twin 18 horse. And the problem I have is it sits right down in there. Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit better. This is the one with the blowing rod bearing. And there's some heavy gr scoring on that um, on that journal. Um, the other part of it sits over there. That looks good. So I don't know if this engine's any good or not. Um, the the reason why I'm what, why I'm doing this video because everybody's seen all these engines laying around in the garage and just was wondering what was going on with all of them. So I would like to do a rebuild on that one. Uh, rebuild that engine, put it on the uh, plow, uh, the mower tractor, the wheel horse, and the shed because that has a, another problem with it. It's got gray oil, burns oil. I go through a uh, half a quart of oil to a quart of oil, depends on how tall the grass is when I'm mowing, and it's also losing a lot of horsepower. I mean, uh, this one right here. This motor is nothing wrong with this. So I got two good motors in the garage. Well, three good motors, but only two that runs. The other one runs, but needs carburetor either A, rebuilt, or B, replaced. And then I got that other one sitting there. So this is just a quick update on the engines that I have. Um, so, yeah, I just got a few problems going on. So, catch you guys later then. See ya.